Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the Retro Toilet Channel. This is the very first edition, and today we are going to look at the Sansui SE8 graphic equalizer. <laughs> So this EQ is called the SE8 and it came in two colors. It came in black, which is the one I have, and silver. Honestly, I would have preferred to have the silver one just because I'm kind of a sucker for the old silver look, but hey, $15, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, I'm ha perfectly happy with this one. So uh, little details about it, it's a 10 band EQ. Um, so that means it's got 10, um, linear filters I think is what they're called and that allows you to adjust the frequency response for each one of those things. Basically what that boils down to is you're able to um, kind of customize the sound that comes out of your speakers and if you want to hear more bass or more mids or more whatever it is you can adjust all of that and um, it's kind of a fun thing and, and some some music you want to you want to be able to tune it to the type of music it is. Some music's more bass heavy, so you want to bring that out more, or some music is more, you know, high end heavy, um, wh whatever it is. So it's kind of a fun toy to play with. And to be honest, the little mechanical sliders and stuff on this one are, are real satisfying to use. They've got a nice click to them and, and uh, it's fun to be able to kind of hear how sliding up and down really affects the sound on this. So uh, it's a pretty cool device and uh, we're gonna open it up and figure out what's going on in here. So my test uh, setup here, I'm gonna be using a Yamaha RX V590 is what it's called. Um, that's the uh, tuner. That's that I'm going to be plugging everything through. And then um, the speakers are Fisher DS825. Um, fun fact about these, I found those speakers on the side of the road with a free sign on them. Uh, they didn't have any uh, covers, like the, the mesh covers were gone, but um, the, some of the cones are a little bit dented, but honestly that doesn't really matter. And I, I brought them home and I've hooked them up and uh, they sound amazing. So I don't, I don't know why anybody got rid of those. They probably thought they looked old and junky and they kind of do, but they sound great. So I, I'm perfectly happy and free is a great price for those. So, uh, and, and uh, incidentally, I didn't pay anything for the Yamaha receiver either. So this is a pretty much free uh, audio setup I've got here. So today, for playing back our audio, we're going to use our trusty Zune. Everyone has one of these, right? I, sh I should assume so. They're so popular. So first what we're going to do is uh, turn on the, the rig here. We're going to get everything situated. We're going to cue up some music here. Unfortunately, uh, when I filmed this, I didn't know really what I was doing, and I talked through a lot of it. So I'm going to try to voice over most of this, but some of this I'm gonna, uh, it's just gonna be the original audio. Here we go, tape one. Uh, and herein lies the problem. See that the right side just flaked out, and that is what we're going to try to fix today. Why did it do that? Well, we don't know. Ta-da! So, here we have all the different circuitry here. This seems to be all working. These are the 
mechanical switches. So these, I think, are the problem here. So what I'm gonna need to do to get at them is to take this guy off. And then we'll see what's under there. But I am hoping that all we have to do to get this guy working again is to spray a little contact cleaner on there. Carefully get this out of the way. here it's gonna be how do I get this on there without getting it all over the place so this is deoxid it's a contact cleaner so hit those guys there get some in there let's see how that does us a little bit get it all in there nice and good okay So now we've got everything back together. Um, actually, to be quite honest with you, some time has passed. You can see the uh, test setup has changed a little bit. I actually got a brand new, uh, well not brand new, but a new to me vintage tape deck here, which is actually pretty nice. So um, it's a little bit a, a different configuration than we did the first test, but essentially we're using the same elements, the EQ into the Yamaha uh, with the Zune playing the uh, same audio track that we used for the original test.
So as you can see, our test worked out. We've got both channels going and all it took was some contact cleaner. So mission accomplished. Our $15 thrift store EQ is now just about as good as new. And uh, we can go ahead and, and keep on using it for a lot of years, hopefully. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Please subscribe to the channel and we'll keep making more of these. Uh, you know what? This was dumb. Dump it.